is up guys welcome to serial nation and today i have for you a new video this will be pretty much the last legit video for this year 2017 oh man it's been quite the year in terms of gaming we got some top notch games this year man but um for this video i wanted to do my top five video games of 2017 now i didn't know if i was actually going to be able to do this video but Luckily, I organized a list in time to make this video, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So, for number five, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's like an open world game made by Guerrilla Games, the same company that made Killzone Shadowfall. And the first thing I have to say about this game, the graphics look amazing. It's probably one of the most graphically appealing, or really, it, it pushes the PS4 to the limits, pretty much. It's one of the games that, like, you know, really pushes the console, and you can really tell that with the gameplay and the graphics. And really, um, it has an interesting, like, ta like you know, spin on it compared to other open world games. It's more like, I don't know how you say, um, it just has a twist to it, you know, because the world has, like, kind of an old fashioned style to it, to where, like, everyone's, like, kind of, they're not, they're kind of afraid of technology, of all these, like, futuristic stuff. And the main character, Aloy, has this chip on her ear where she can, you know, gain information from the robot she's fighting. And so that really uh, puts a spin on the gameplay and the world as a whole. I have yet to finish the game. Um, I'm about, I'm still pretty early in the game, to be honest. But from what I've played so far, I'm really interested in it. It's a really fun game, probably one of the best games I've played this year. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. Number four, ha I would have to say Cuphead. Now, um, if you've been on YouTube and you watch gaming videos, everyone's seen Cuphead, man. Everyone knows about Cuphead. Um, this is pretty much the undertale of this year. I feel like, um, usually really hit, uh, indie games, gain a huge fan base and all these, like, you know, fan related videos and um you guys if you guys haven't seen i actually did a let's play of cuphead quite a while ago but i've yet to make a second part to it it's probably going to come soon but i have been playing it outside of youtube i have two save files actually one for myself and one for youtube but from what i've played so far the game is really fun it's really challenging it's a lot it has that nes feel to it um a lot of like the you know, early Mega Man titles, I feel like, but it, it is actually quite hard, I feel like it is actually harder than a lot of the Mega Man titles, because I actually got the Mega Man collection for PS4 too, so I played both, and I feel like this is harder just because the frame rate is so smooth, to the point that you can't really react in time for some of the enemies, you have to have a really quick reflex, and that is, um, you know, what brings in the challenge to Cuphead, and it is two-player uh, local co-op. I have yet to play it with a friend because no one wants to play it with me, but um, they had online co-op. I think that would be pretty cool. I heard that they were adding it, but I don't know if they actually are adding it or not, but yeah, Cuphead, really good game, and it takes the number four spot. For number three, it would have to be Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. Now, you guys... I don't know if you guys have seen, but I have made quite a few videos on this remaster uh, for the three collections. Um, I made it a, a really sick unboxing to it. I'll probably like link it somewhere, I don't know. Or you guys could find it in my unboxing uh, playlist. But um, pretty much this remaster, it, had, it was a, the first three trilogy uh, PS1 titles of Crash Bandicoot fully remastered for the PS4. 60 frames per second, 1080p, and man, it looks so freaking good. I have yet to beat this collection as well. I believe I'm like 50% through Crash 1, and Crash 1 is actually way harder than I remembered it to be. Um, I think Crash 1 is actually the most challenging out of the three, but um, it's it's hard. It's really freaking hard. Um, it's got that 3D platformer. Um, aspect to it and the challenge is there it has a lot of like it's kind of like cuphead where you have to have reflexes and just like a precision with uh, platforming in general 
but that's what I like about it. I like the challenge. I like the just the gameplay in general. It makes me feel really nostalgic. And yeah, um, it it reminds me of the good old days where you know we had that wide library of PS One and PS Two. So Crash Bandicoot takes number three. Number two, Fortnite. Um, again, this game is trending right now on Twitch. This is a really big game. Um, you know, it's free uh, currently, and I think the full version is going to be free also. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have tried Fortnite or have at least seen gameplay of it because it's pretty much everywhere right now. But man, um, battle royale games are becoming kind of a huge deal now, and um, I play Fortnite on PS4 with friends, and it's really, like, really fun. Um, I've been trying to get first place a lot to get that umbrella, but I have yet to get it. Um, my friends, some of my friends have already gotten it, but I have yet to get that umbrella. One day I'll get it. It'll be mine soon. But um, pretty much what Fortnite is, is you're in a battle royale island. Uh, there's like a huge map in here with a hundred other people. You could play solo, duo, or squad, and pretty much you have to be the last person standing in your group alone or with friends. And it's really challenging because everyone's out to get you pretty much. And there's a storm that closes in on the circle, so you have to keep staying in that circle, but it keeps getting smaller and smaller. So that's where the challenge comes in, and. I think the thing I screw up most on is building forts because surviving for me personally is pretty easy, but when it comes to that 10, the last 10 standing and you have to build a fort and all that, it gets really hard. So um, yeah, but Fortnite, it's really fun. I can't wait for the full version to come out. Um, but yeah, that takes my number two. And number one, here we go, drum roll. Persona 5. You never seen it coming, man. Persona 5. My god. Um I I'm not too into turn-based RPG titles, but after playing this game, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Persona 5 changed my life. Like, I'm not trying to be with I'm not trying to sound like that guy, man, but Persona 5. You, if you have a PS4, you need to give that game a try, man. Persona 5, for the, even for the Video Game Awards, that was my personal game of the year. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did, but I've yet to finish that either. That game's extremely long. It's approximately like around 150 to 200 hours, I think. But, um, damn. <laughs> Excuse me for my language, for my French. But, uh, Persona 5, you... Pretty much, you play as this Japanese exchange student. He's he do, he's done a really bad crime. I'm not going to go into details for what he did, for spoiler reasons. But pretty much, he has to clear his name. So you go to high school, you live your daily life as a student. But then there's also this twisted aspect where you go in this um, weird dimension uh, with um, pretty much like this different reality with distorted hearts and desires. So there's these like criminals that have like you know like, you know, these twisted thoughts, so you go inside their world, and you pretty much have to change their heart, and you're known as the Phantom Thieves, you, you're, like, within a group of friends, and man, it just gets so deep, the story, and your targets just get bigger and bigger, and you get more popular, and all that kind of stuff, but, and the characters you meet, too, it just, personally, I think Persona 5, I'm, I'm pretty much saying, like, a review here, but, Persona 5, for me personally, I think it has, like, little to no flaws. Like, it's that good. Like, I've yet to encounter, a, like, a flaw to where it's the game's fault itself. I've yet to encounter that. Like, if there's something I don't appreciate in the game, it's my fault. Like, it's something that I did, not because of what the game did. So, yeah, Persona 5 is my number one spot for my top five games for 2017 but yeah saying that um uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video um i really wanted to get this out before 2017 ended by the time i release this there's gonna have like four hours left of 2017 so i'm gonna release one more video after this i want to put game footage in this video but i don't know if i'll be able to because i really just want to get this video out there but um 
yeah, saying that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know down in the comment section below what's your top five for 2017 for video games. And yeah, saying that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, alright? Peace out. Let it go.